So, an incredibly quick thing to do, the Blue Forehead S10. Uh, this actually isn't owned by me, this is owned by, of course, Nick. Um, his name cropping up a lot. <laughs> My greatest benefactor. Uh, this is essentially what has become nicknamed the Blue Forehead S10. For a while we thought that the uh, blue indicator on S10s were an indicator of port and down, given the fact that the only photograph of the Blue S10 being used uh, in an actual video or photograph was at port and down when the BBC went. I personally, and I conferred this with Barack for days, that there's a possibility that the photograph of the blue forehead S10s being used at Port and Down were in fact by the reporters. Because the, in this case, the blue forehead which says John on it, if I can uh, just bring it closer to you. You may also notice it's cracking, which is because it's only painted on. It's not part of the rubber. Uh, the one in the Porton photograph, however, had a blue PSM. I forget what PSM stands for. I'll probably write it in the comments when I remember. Um, damn it, I'm really trying to remember now. Projection speech module? I forget. No, it wasn't that at all. Um, it's just the cover for the uh, voice trumpet. Anyway, uh, the possibility of yeah, it being uh, just a photograph of the press who were there to photograph it, because as we've seen later on, that there were... Uh, these were the earlier ones in the 1980s, in fact this one is 1989, which is why it's still got these straps that hang out the back, instead of shooting forward like that. Uh, anyway, They came with a PSM, and as we know, that then later on reporters and people who are on the scenes in a uh, country where they'd need a mask for protection, of course, because if a reporter dies due to a chemical attack, it'd be bad publicity for that country, and just generally cause more of an outcry whenever a reporter does get killed. So uh, the blue PSM cover FM12 was made, and we've seen plenty of those. There's quite actually a lot in Africa. Can't think why. And uh, they are essentially all but confirmed to be uh, reporters. I say all but, but we pretty much just know that they are. So there's a high possibility that the blue forehead S10, as along with the blue PSM S10, was merely for uh, journalists and news reporters. Uh, this is also uh, an interesting t thing to note, is it would have had a blue version of the PS10, or the L12A1 filter, which again was thought to be uh, port and down. But I believe another collector, I forget who it was, it could have been Moulage, I think, I can't remember, who obtained a box full of them from an airport. Which, of course, if it was port and down, why would they go through a commercial airport? It makes sense that it would have been, say, like the BBC, going abroad and forgot to take the box of filters or the box of filters were claimed because as we all know by things internationally often the filters are things that get us uh, tagged get us caught and they're like nope we've destroyed your thing oopsie poopsie sorry we don't care if it was actually safe of asbestos we just thought we'd ding boom and fucking blow it up I don't know what they actually do with it presumably burn but yeah, this is no different to a normal S10 with this weird eye effect there's nothing wrong with it also size 2 as is this one it's completely functionally the same, even the inside is the same, so I'm not going to take it off the head. So, yeah, it's an S10. Uh, it's just got the blue forehead, so it is just a reporter's S10. Which is why I don't need to talk about this for too long. So, just theories and rambles, and essentially there's no real reason as to why we'd have to think past this point that they were for Port and Down.